Hello, we are back in another video and today is the day when I finally change something that I usually always do when I buy my car in between one to three months but now I didn't do it more than two years because to be honest it's perfect from stock form only issue I have with it it's the right height so yes guys we are now today installing springs on stock DCC suspension and as I said stock DCC is very good just the issue is little bigger gap you see it's not bad but I would like to get it down let's say 15 millimeters sadly only stock spring enough to get same stiffness similar as uh, stock one is H&R without the adjusting of the height so I cannot play with height it is what it is and it will be around 25 millimeters I don't like too low cars because I drive it on track but I hope it won't be too stiff uh, sorry too low too stiff uh, I also doubt so yes let's see did I make the biggest mistake or it will be okay stay tuned so we are here here is my friend Rooks always meant for the job so stock stock springs and H and R they, they look small difference so yes and stocks are firm very 70 kilos and H and R are 60 so a bit softer but for rear maybe this will be plus stay tuned springs are adjusted installed hi there hi just last check out and then we are going for first drop out okay here we are now we are back in the car and the first impressions it's perfect just exactly what I wanted basically car feels like stock when you drive you feel a bit more bouncy but that's it so feels a bit stock you can use performance mode you can use auto mode you can be uh, you can drive in the comfort and be gently and soft and to be honest works perfect works perfect and yes that is what I wanted now the final test will be on the track I won't be there soon so I won't be able to give you feedback about track in this video but this will follow but uh, but when we do it will definitely be the review so guys who wants springs same as stock just to lower a car a bit not a bit lower a car 25 millimeters go with H&R fixed springs it's amazing all other springs as I said I've looked review ask data are softer than stock you don't need softer car who sees RS3 too bumpy too aggressive too firm you can go softer yes but for me for track use and this suspension and crazy good DCC I don't want stock I, I mean I don't want to get it more softer so yes this is definitely good I'm enjoying driving it and I will give you more feedback when I test a bit more stay tuned and when car settles a bit I will make full walkthrough and we will check how much it dropped see you guys okay we are back I made around 1000 kilometers with the springs and to be honest I did the best decision on any modification in suspension possible for this car why because stock DCC is amazing works perfect only issue I had was optical I wanted a bit lower 
So I tested many factories and as I said only H&R springs were same stiffness than the original one. So what are the impressions? As I said great, car is uh, lower, much lower center of gravity, it feels sporty, it's not so crazy bumpy and aggressive, it's very good and I think it will be huge improvement for track. And I made also alignment, I gained 0.2 degrees of camber just with the springs because car went down and we did a little bit trick up with the shocks but yes now it's very good and now it's settled down so you can see yourself so perfect front drop same as h and r claim 25 millimeters i was measuring before and now it was 61.5 now it's 59 the rear one was 61.8 now is now is uh, 59.3 so exactly 25 millimeter drop so front it's few millimeters lower lower than rear but it was same in stock form little bit more but i have a crap watch so it's a bit lighter rear the right rear also went 25 millimeters lower but it's from all wheels 0.2 millimeters more from uh, a rear left wheel it's more because now it's on half tank when you put the full tank it's all car is in full balance that's what i was uh, checking on scales and measurements when i did before but now it's half of tank so this was uh, 62 and now it's uh, 59.5 okay and we go back to the front rear and the same 20 millimeter drop and identically same height as the front left so basically car will drop as factory so each wheel dropped same so it's same way distribution just whole car is lower 25 millimeters it really looks great looks so aggressive and this is how now it should like it's not too low you have good space under so yes definitely huge improvement over the stock and i uh, got what i wanted and that is much better lower and same stiffer car you see nothing is moving just it's moving a little bit on tires but very very good can't wait uh, wait to give you my feedback on track how is it behaving? Is it better? Is it worse? Do I have better time? I will also attach my current alignment sheet so you see what we got and that's it. I hope next video which is following to this one we are working on it. It's tuning of ECU. We are working uh, very hard to get full package, full product to offer customers and to have something that will work on track every day and 300 plus kilometers on German autobar. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.